So hello everyone and this is the second part of the video where I'm going to tell you how to combine two projects of Unity 3D into one. So in this part I'm going to tell you how to combine two scenes, two scenes of your uh, so you know one scene of one project that you uh, you know mm, were uh, about to combine and second scene of different project so I combine it so in my previous video I I combine it two projects two projects and now I'm going to combine one scene of one project with other center of different project so let's just go ahead and you know you know, you know just not to waste our time so here we go mm, so this this is a prefab this prefab is my center of one project so how I made this prefab I will show you so I'm going to open uh, the center, the scene of uh, my one project. It's car project. Okay, here we go. And I am, and what I'm doing now, I choose my files. I mean, not files, game objects, and I press F to to be in its center of all those objects then I create empty game object and I give a name to this object so you know it's it will be a name of my prefab so let's just say it's you know car component right car component enter and I drag all all those you know com all those game objects into this one and then I'm dragging this this game object this group of game object here into my folder it will create a prefab for me so let's just say that prefab is done now let's go to the scene from different project that will be a final destination for our car component prefab so we are going to open action stealth project so this is a car component project and this is a scene from this component from car component and I'm going to go to uh, to my action stealth component I mean action stealth project scene so my scenes this is you know one you know a uh, scene I already made so it, it's already already combined and this one is not yet combined so now this is very important so there are uh, maybe uh, logs in uh, in the view of editor those logs are only because my prefab my project my scene has a lot of colliders so just you know just to make you aware of the fact that it can be laggy and now I'm dragging this prefab onto my map okay you can see it you know it's has you know some logs uh, okay this is where my car is located and this is where the player is located so the fact is that the player has its camera and and car has its camera the player is controlled by WASD and with you know the cursor and you know space for jumping and the car is controlled by WSAD and space for braking so and also the car has you know its own set of cameras so the, I have to now I have to disable a player to do this I have a special script here that that makes player w w visible in the start of the game so I I will need to hide my player uh, okay the player is already hidden and I'm going to replace I'm going to replace uh, the player with car 
B BMW car this one and also to make um, to make our enemies follow a uh, not not player I know in this case car I need to make some changes also here you know to make them follow car but not player so this is about uh, this part and now I need to drag all the components out okay car component mm, oh, wait yeah this one I, I have to drag all the components of of the prefab out of my prefab I have no idea why why but you know if the prefab is like you know it's like this is in a whole objects whole object is making me a crazy logs so I disabled a player and I enabled car now I need to uh, to tell my enemies that you know guys your your enemy is not the player your enemy now is uh, your enemy now is a car so I need to replace okay here we go the player target BM, BMW and 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 yeah that's all only one place for target of our enemies now let's just go ahead and try it out what what we have here okay <gasps> I forgot to do one one very important thing the game may crash the game may crash because I made a very crazy uh, you know big AI AI uh, you know zone for AI so it, it may crash here so I need to make small zone of AI so save as I'm going to go here my scenes combine two okay here we go now we can press play button and check it out what I forgot to turn off the player or what hold on hmm I forgot to do something very important the player is not enabled I have to go to empty component ah no yeah sure sure I, I have to enable my car here yeah okay now we can check it out now
as you can see the the enemies somehow you know don't see us as enemy and you know I haven't made a, a ragdoll you know system you know enabled if we hit them with car just because I you know just have made it you know I just have you know mixed those two projects so I haven't even implemented you know the car hit uh, with r ragdoll system yet but this is uh, just you know a plan for future so you can see now that you can freely combine your two projects you can combine two scenes you you can you know to you know to combine two ideas you have you know just like me so you know I have an idea of action stealth game but also I wanted to add some car component and I decided uh, you know, not to reinvent a bicycle I decided to uh, get my old abandoned project from the dust and and put it inside of my current project so I hope this video help you know will help you to realize that you you know you are c you are capable of of combining any projects, any scenes, and any content you have in your, you know, you know, any com any content and components you have. So, thank you for watching this video. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye bye, and have a good time.